Mama Corn on the cob day. Break out the butter. We're serving off summer. It's June 11th, and that means it's National Corn on the Cob Day. Fresh corn on the cob is a summertime treat people from all corners of the country look forward to as we start the American barbecue season. Today, Kevin is going to share his recipe for a Tex-Mex Southwestern-style corn on the cob. In the United States, corn on the cob goes by many different names, from pole corn to corn stick, sweet corn to long maize. It can be boiled, grilled, fried, steamed, or roasted. When putting corn on the cob on the grill, the husks can be left on to retain moisture and flavor during the cooking process. Corn on the cob can also be microwaved in the husk for three or four minutes. In Central America and Mexico, an ear of corn is called elote. The boiled ear is served with butter, mayonnaise, and grated cotija cheese, chili powder, lime juice, and salt. Elotes, or Elotes Locos, is served at town fairs in Mesoamerica, served on a stick, sometimes with sweet and sour sauce, ketchup, and mustard. Did you know? It was way back in 7000 BC that corn was domesticated in southern Mexico. The corn cobs only grew to one inch in length and only one cob per plant. The indigenous people of the Americas used artificial selection to improve their crops and resulted in maize plants capable of growing several cobs per plant, which were now three or four inches long. In 4000 BC, corn cultivation was introduced to South America from Mexico. It spread through the Andes and through Peru and Colombia. After the arrival of the Europeans in 1492, Spanish settlers ate corn and explorers and traders carried it back to Europe. The Spanish settlers far preferred wheat bread to maize, especially because of their religious beliefs. Within a few decades, corn spread throughout the rest of the world because of its ability to grow in diverse climates. It was cultivated in Spain just a few years after Columbus's voyage and spread to Italy, and then all the way to Africa. In an etiquette book from 1921, Lillian Watson described corn on the cob as Without a doubt, one of the most difficult foods to eat gracefully. She added, It is entirely permissible to use the fingers in eating corn, holding it lightly at each end. Some etiquette books even recommend buttering and salting the corn a section at a time just before eating it, which will help minimize the mess all over your face. Corn in the cob holders are eating utensils used to, well, hold your corn on the cob. They have been used since ancient times and they're made from things like articles of wood to precious silver. When it's not on the cob, we love to eat corn as popcorn. Isn't it funny how we still add butter and salt? We also use corn for antibiotics, hand soap, ethanol, and even fireworks. Nothing is more American than having corn on the cob at your 4th of July party. Just make sure to have plenty of napkins. Oh no! Happy National Corn on the Cob Day, everyone! Thank you for listening today. My name is Kevin. Welcome to my channel, Everything Kevin. If you like this video, please press like below. If you'd like to see more, please press subscribe. Take it easy, man.